in a bathroom that's being finished up. Uh, got my test equipment because it is time to clock the flow on these ERV exhausts. That is the foam backing that comes with these. This is called the Fantech uh, MGE4. It's a four inch, so you literally run the four inch duct right up to the drywall. And then the plasters or the uh, drywall guys come along and plaster right around it. So there's no gaps, really important. I had asked specifically for that. And then of course we're making marks on this. They're gonna hate that, but don't, it's okay. Like nobody's gonna see this. What we wanna know is what is the flow through these? And also how are these guys gonna paint that if this is in place? So what they're gonna do is yank this out, of course, again. So what I wanna do is label it. This is called master shower. And I'm gonna set it to a specific amount. And then I'm gonna put that set nut. You see that little nut in there on the, uh, on that bolt? That is gonna hold the thing in place. So now when I put that back up in there, I know that it's not gonna change. I have already measured this. That's how I knew how to set the set screw up. And you can see these little spring-loaded clips there. It just mounts right up in there and goes flush. Then I can use my hole of non size, which is called the exhaust fan flow meter. And I can either do the conversion here or I've got that on there. I'm using uh, door E3. See right down here? I've got that thing running at about 20 CFM of exhaust. And that's on minimum speed, by the way, or medium speed. That way, when we boost, it goes up. And, and it will never fall below that one level of 20. 20 is code. Uh, if I could get 25, then that would be useful. I would do that. The Brone AI, the Brone 1, which is called the BLP, blah, blah, blah. It's anyways, if you search Brone 1 ERV, that's what we've got up in the attic space. We could only use that one because the larger AI model, the, one, the 210, won't fit up there. And so that thing, I should set it to, uh, to 90, excuse me, but... We had it set to that and this thing was totally underperforming. So now I've got to turn it up to 130 and that is how I'm able to get 20 out of this. Not 25, but just 20 out of this, 15 out of the toilet and 20 out of each of the other showers. So there's either some loss in the system, which it's probably not. Fisher Heard, the contractor who uh, did this install is a really good guy, um, did a great job, sealed all the connections, it's all flex. So there's some loss there, but the, the Brone says that it's delivering 130 and it's clearly not. So I don't know whether it's a problem with the algorithm that they're running to get that flow or with there's leakage in the system somewhere. Anyway, there's some loss, don't worry about it. We fixed it, now we've got everything set up the right way.